His Excellency Nestor Mendes, the Assistant Secretary General, Ambassador Fernandez, and uh, colleagues, distinguished guests, representatives, permanent representatives. It is with great humility and a deep sense of responsibility that I stand before you today as the newly appointed chair of the Permanent Council of the Organization of American States. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the members of this distinguished body for entrusting Belize with this important role. And I extend my appreciation to our outgoing chair and his vice chair for their exemplary leadership during a challenging period of our hemisphere. I also want to congratulate our new vice chair, Ambassador Frank Mora, and look forward to working closely with him. The Belize remains deeply committed to the core principles that define the OS, democracy, human rights, security, and integral development. These principles are not just the foundation of our organization, but they are the very pillars upon which our collective futures rest. As chair, I will work tirelessly to ensure that our deliberations and actions are guided by these values. So today, as Belize assumes this chairmanship, our hemisphere, we know, is faced with multiple crises that demand immediate and sustained attention. Chief among them is the deepening crisis in Haiti, the political instability, economic collapse, and humanitarian disaster unfolding in Haiti requires our urgent attention. Belize stands in solidarity with the Haitian people and supports all efforts to stabilize the country, restore democratic institutions, and provide essential humanitarian relief. We must continue working together within this council and in coordination with international partners to ensure that Haiti finds a path towards sustainable peace and development. But in addition to these urgent political and humanitarian crises, the broader socio-economic challenges facing many of our member states must not be overlooked. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated poverty and inequality across our region, with millions of people facing unemployment, food insecurity, and limited access to basic services. The OS has a critical role to play in supporting member states as we navigate these challenges. As chair, I will prioritize efforts aimed at eradicating poverty and fostering inclusive economic growth. We must focus on strategies that empower the most vulnerable, enhance access to education and healthcare, promote decent work, and foster resilient economies.